Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Someone sent me in a request, can you please do 23 actors who can actually sing? And I thought, yeah, that'd be fun. But I do want to put a little side note on this. Back in the day, in, in old days, uh, most actors and actresses could sing and also act. Uh, and they could usually dance and even play an instrument. So it's only been more in recent years that it's a phenomenon that if there's an actor or an actress that can actually sing. So um, usually back, I said back in the day when this whole kind of form of entertainment started, uh, they could be multi-instrumentalists, sing, dance, play, tap dance, do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I want to put a little side note on that before I do this. So I'm not overly impressed that they could sing, but I'm sure we'll have a good time. So with that said, let's get started. Here we go. Nice. I'm taking the Greyhound on the Hudson River line. Nice. I'm in a New York state of mind. That's great. Good job. I like that. Nice. Out nice. Like a power oh. I could feel the mist every time we kiss. Just didn't know a downpour like this. There's a there's a flash forward warning. That was beautiful. He had his nice warm tone, and I okay. This is fun. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, but I thought I'd ask you just the same. What are you doing? See, like I said, multi multi instrumentalist. That was fun. Who's gonna be the one to hold you tight when it's exactly? 12 o'clock at night. It's got that crooner thing going He kind of sounded a little bit like Harry Connick Jr. Man, that's pretty cool. I love Harry, so good stuff. Let's continue. Pitch, man. I'm set foot in that rat hole again, but I'll drive to your place. Cool. Yeah, this, I'm having a good time. Yeah, these guys are, you know, they're hitting it. Like I said, this is kind of how it used to be in the old days where, you know, these guys, if they were called on to do something, they didn't want to not get the gig because they couldn't sing if the, if the role required someone singing. Nowadays, you know, you get a movie and this, this, you know, the actor or whatever, they play the part and usually someone else is doing their singing for them and they sort of take the credit or whatever. And in the old days, again, they would do everything. They would sing, tap dance, play guitar, you know, uh, act or whatever. So let's continue. You'll find me somewhere Sweet. I gotta take a little time. Uh, Tom Cruise. I'm gonna take a little time. A little time to think things over. I did a version of that. I'll throw it in the description. It's called Foreigner. Uh, I want to know what love is, but let's continue. I did a lot of Foreigner tracks. I'll throw a few of those in the, the description for you guys to check out. A little time to think things over. Over. There you go. She don't tell me how I ought to be. She likes me just as I am. So when I get blue, she's the one I go to. For her heart is as big as a ham. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't know this was gonna come up. So Anne's throwing down singing, 
very theatrically, uh, and she's acting, of course, she's doing, playing a role, and then she goes into the splits because she's got gymnastics or some other, you know, tri or quad sort of uh, talent that she's got, she's been working on. So that's kind of pr precisely what I'm talking about where they would have multifaceted things so they wouldn't get, um, you know, uh, not get a gig uh, just because they couldn't do one element of something maybe required for a specific role, okay? Speaking of Tom uh, Cruise, by the way, uh, I hear that Tom Cruise does most all of his own stunts, even at his age, and he's a pretty gnarly stunts. So uh, in addition to his repertoire of singing and acting, he can also do stunts, and uh, the brother is in shape. Yesterday I was alone, today you are beside me. Suddenly I see what I could not see, something. He reminds me a lot of Robert Goulet. Go check out some old Robert Goulet, uh, and that was a lot like his little motif there. Not to let it grieve you. No one leaves for good. You are not alone. No one is alone. Now I saw a little uh, stint from Emily Blunt on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Uh, where she did something kind of similar too. It's kind of like she's playing like, I don't know, should I do it? I can't really do it. But I know she already sings anyway, so that might have been a little bit of a publicity stunt. It worked, and it was still fun, but let's, let's keep rocking. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair and a dress got down to there. She oh. was Miranda. <laughs> Not so good. Barry Manilow is awesome. I can live without that one there. But again, remember I talked about the over accentuation of the vocal track. He's over accentuating the words like people do in theater. And that's pretty hard to do that. We want to kind of under accentuate those vocal, um, the vocal track so we're not having a lot of shifting in the throat uh, to get better pitch and tone and range and so forth. So let's continue. Okay, to me, that wasn't so live. It sounded really processed, so I don't know what her voice really sounds like, uh, but it was definitely a studio product, so I can't really tell how well she sings, but let's continue. I like the tone. He's using a raised laryngeal position, so it's kind of a little Kermit the Froggy. He's got kind of that uh, raised larynx position. It's cool. I mean, you know, but his looks were a little sketchy. Oh. Afterwards, we drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love. Nicole Kidman. Now, Robbie Williams, I don't think he's that great of a vocalist at all, but he's a phenomenal songwriter. In fact, Waterfalls is one of my favorite songs of all time. And um, he's sort of like uh, kind of picked up the baton sort of where Elton John left off. So if you get a chance, check out some Robbie Williams. He's phenomenal. And they're just doing this duet now. And again, this is very produced in the studio and you can really hear how they really worked it. So I don't know what her real live voice sounds like, but eh, the, the track is cool, you know. Here again, another actor that can sing and play guitar. That's nice. That's fun. Again, that over accentuation. Theater. Nice. It's interesting. He's um, using.
two different larger positions. He's facing the window. So he's going in and out of uh, the larynx is uh, raising and lowering and raising and lowering. And that's a very dramatic approach um, if you're uh, doing, you know, like, you know, big character voice, you know, in opera or something like that and you're singing an aria. Uh, it, it really dramatizes or makes it very melodramatic, uh, the scene. So that's obviously what he's doing here, and he's doing a good job. It's great. Phantom shadows on the floor. Oh. Empty chairs and empty tables. Where my friends will meet no more. Cool. That's cool. Are you shining just for me? It's all right. City of stars. There's so much that I can't. A little flat. City of stars. Just one thing everybody wants. It's nice. There in the bars, or through the smoke screen of the crowd. Ooh. That was a good pitch. You keep messing where you shouldn't be messing. Yeah. And now someone else is getting all you have. Okay, I got this. These boots were made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over. Uh, I give her a B minus for the vocal, but an A for the character and the song. I like the song, so <laughs> let's keep going. Don't go breaking my heart. That's cool. Corbin oh, throw down. If I get restless. Baby, you're not that kind. Just don't go breaking my heart. I won't go breaking your Okay, that, that song, actually, that was an old song. Kiki D and Elton John did that song. But Kiki D, man, you should check that girl out. She is awesome. Um, I did a, a version of one of her songs called I Got the Music in Me. And I'm gonna put that in the description so you can check it out. That is a beastly song. So guys, if of all these songs that I just said, either Foreigners, I Wanna Know What Love Is, if you're gonna check out something I've done, but also check out my version of, um, uh, what did I just say? I Got the Music In Me by Kiki D. Whew, that sister can jam. So they're, they're picking off some pretty epic pieces, which is fun to watch. This is fun, guys. This, you know, it, It's not amazing, but it is really cool to see that there's talent out there that can sing. So I think that might be the end of it. Yeah, I guess it just ended. Um, anyway, so what is that? 23 actors that can sing, actors and actresses that can sing. Wait a minute, now that's a gender specific thing. Am I allowed to say that these days? But if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be super awesome. Uh, hit over 90 million views now, guys, and over 700,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate that. That's awesome. And uh, stop by my singing forums. We got over 8,000 people in there talking about stuff like this, good singing techniques and habits. And I have a singing course. It's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. And I walk you through all these different styles step by step to help you make or help you become a better singer if you work at it. So with that said, God bless you guys. And until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out.